and the same for you. You've got a work to do. My heart has been grieved because I think I don't know. And maybe one day I, I don't know. But I look around and, and I think about the times that I've just crossed my arms and I've sat back. And during those times, I don't even know maybe the souls that I could have helped. But I was so focused on me. Oh God, oh God, oh God. But I'm telling you what, when there's a fire burning, there's no telling how many people it can affect. Oh, I want a wildfire in the spirit. Oh, if you're hurting, if you're broken, the spirit's been here today. But still yet, there may be some that's not, not giving it to the Lord. But if you're hurting, if you're broken, maybe you're just, you're just discouraged. Maybe you're trying to search this thing out. And I, I want to say that I respect you for that. If you don't really understand, and if you, if you don't want to just take somebody's word for it, I, I want to say I respect you for that. Don't just take somebody's word for it. You don't have to act crazy like some of us. I know I'm one of the most crazy, I guess you could say, but, but I want to say I respect you. And I want to tell you that when God reveals himself to you, whoo, hallelujah, it'll be like nothing you've ever known. I tell you, he will. He will reveal himself in a way that's personal to us. And only, you'll look around and you'll say, nobody knew what I'd been thinking. Nobody knew what I'd been praying. And nobody knew what I was trying to search for in order to know that this thing is really real. But God, I'm telling you what, he'll reveal himself. Oh God, I can't say how he's going to do it. But he'll do it in a personal way. I don't know. Uh, we all sit here, you know, and from time to time, maybe we know what each other's going through here and there. But there are things we keep in our hearts that others do not know about. You know, I, I, I do myself. I, I, I kind of limit myself on what I tell people. Yeah, that can be good in some ways. That can be wise in some ways. You just never know. You know, but, but I'm telling you what. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm ready. I'm ready to start seeing some chains be broken. Come on, man. I am ready. I'm telling you what, we are on, we're in a war, yeah. we're in a journey, I'm telling you what, and, and, and if we'll just get our focus, and we stop looking to the left and to the right, and we put our blinders on, and we run, and we run, and I tell you, I, I do encourage you though, it's okay to look back sometimes, and, and not, not, not to look back and, and go back, but I want to tell you it's okay to look back. Look at where God has brought you from. Amen. And everything he's brought you through. I, even if you're not saved, how in the world do you think you're here? I know, I know. You know, some people may say, well, you know, you can say it's God. But, you know, I'm here because I got up and I told to come here. You know, you know, I, I hear, you know, it's fine. I understand those little arguments. But it's by the grace of God. Uh, it's by the grace of God. Yes. By his grace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I can't help it when I when I close my eyes and I and I really have my mind set where it needs to be and I begin to think. I, I have these little illustrations, I guess you could say, that come to my mind. And I can just see I was, you know, I, even like wolves and stuff and, and things just trying trying to rip and to tear and to attack and to pull and and from one side to the next and you know I'm trying to go forward and Here's one in front of me. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, and, and then here's one on the side, and they're surrounding me. And then, like she's saying this morning, it may look like I'm surrounded. You know, you may feel like you're in that place. Every step that you take, Amen. you feel like you're surrounded. And then you try to take a step, and then something comes up right in front of you again. And you can't seem to make any progress. But I'm telling you, oh, just stop where you're at. Just kneel down from where you're at. You don't have to, you don't have to have every every answer figured out. 
today. Come on. How, how do you feel about that? Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not playing games today. I don't know if you can tell. And sometimes, if it leaves me acting a little bit crazy, that's just how I feel like I can get a breakthrough. I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I appreciate him today. Let's get our focus. Holy, 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 holy. Oh, he's a merciful God. He's a merciful God. Oh, if you found yourself in a place, you maybe can't even feel him anymore. You've been feeling numb. And you see, you see what's going on, but you just kind of, your vision's a little bit blurry. And you, you can't even put yourself in that place. You can't even, you can't even imagine being to that place like you see others maybe being in. You're just, you're so numb to the things of God. And I'm telling you what, I want to, even today, you being here in the house of God, that's a step. And then somebody made you. Every time that we can be even near the presence of God, it's a miracle. And I want to tell you that, oh God, if you ever feel a nudging on your heart, I don't care where you've been. I don't care the things you might have done. Even if you walked with him at one point and now you're no longer with him. Let me tell you, I don't care the things that you've done that nobody even knows about. Oh, God, God knows it, but he paid the ultimate price already. He already paid it. He already paid it. He had a maha, shun a maha, he paid. Oh, the price has been paid. Oh, it's been paid. It's been paid. It's been paid. It's been paid. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No matter what you've done, no matter how far you've gone, hala maha, you paid, oh, shun Oh, his grace can reach farther. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, his love can cover a multitude of sins. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. He can, he can restore you. Oh, he can pick you up. Oh, he can, he can start that fire back inside of you. And let me tell you, you don't have to keep living that same life. Oh, you might think you enjoy it a little bit and there's pleasure in, in sin for a season, but I'm telling you what, at the end of the day, you know, you know that you're running on empty. You know you're running on empty. And you don't maybe even realize that you need the power of God in your life. But if you will just allow yourself to look up for just a minute, if you'll allow yourself to just reach up, say, God, I, I don't even know how to pray. I don't even know how to do this thing, but but here I am. If you allow yourself to cry out to him, he will teach you and guide you. And once you start feeling his spirit, it's the greatest feeling. And you'll know that there's something to this thing. And you'll start feeling that hope. And he can come by and restore you. And let me tell you, I don't care your background. I don't care your situation. God can go farther. I'm telling you, he can put you in a place you never thought you could be. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know what it looks like. I know. I understand. I know what it might, might look like to you. We look at each other and that's all we can see. That God sees much farther than that. He sees us for who we can be. Do you know that? He sees you for the godly young woman or the godly young man that you can be. He already sees it. And he will. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And he wants to. He wants to help you. He wants to teach you. He wants to guide you. Hallelujah! 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 God's moving. I'm about done here, but God is moving, church. He's moving. And how great it is that He's come by today. What a miracle it is every time to feel His Spirit. I'm grateful today, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how He's going to work. Praise God. Praise God. His presence is real. Amen. He's good. Amen. It's kind of late. I've had to wait on you all a whole lot. Is that all right? So y'all wait on me a few minutes. And if you can't wait, 
It's all right. I understand. Sometimes you got places to go, things to do. I'll, I'll go real quick. And I do want to talk about personal revelation. All right. God reveals things. I want to ask y'all a question. Does anybody know what I got in my hand? He, he gets nothing out of nothing. But until I open my hand, you don't know that. There's things with revelation is when things are revealed to us that we didn't know prior. And God does that to us. And I want to talk about five different ways that he does that. First Corinthians chapter 13. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. And whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away with. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I also am known. Sound like a tongue twister. But what he was saying there, there's things in this life right now that we don't understand fully and completely. Would y'all agree with me on that? There's a lot of things that we don't understand fully. But when revelation comes, when things are revealed to us, we begin to understand. One, one form, I want to talk to you about five different forms of revelation. And the first one being a, a form of authoritative doctrine. All right, that's the first one. When revelation comes in the form of authoritative doctrine. That is a revelation that can primarily be found in the text of the Holy Bible. Uh, the, re the revelations that are revealed throughout church, throughout the church. The revelations in Scripture that can be found through prayer and study. Y'all agree? We can find revelations when we open up the Bible and we begin to read it. We can find the rapture. The word rapture is not in the Bible, but the rapture is a revelation that is taught in the Bible. It's things throughout the Word of God that is revealed to us and taught through us as we, we spend time in prayer and studying the Word of God. And through that, throughout church history, there's things that are revealed to the church, the people of God, things that, that we stand on and do now because of that. The second one is revelation that come through certain events that's happened in history, like the flood, for instance. Say, say the flood or the exodus when they all uh, exited out of Egypt. There's historical, when, you go to, when they go to Egypt in places, they go in and they, they find a tomb, archaeological, uh, ar archaeolog archaeologist, how do you say that? Archaeological finds. They go in and they find tombs and they write, they, there's revelation that comes through history that, that was rolled on the wall of a cave. There's revelation that comes that way. There's parts of the account of the Exodus that, that's not written in the Bible, but it's written in history. It's written in stone. All right? Number three, there's revelation that, that has come by an inner experience that we have. I want to talk about that one for just a moment. This type of revelation isn't necessarily come out of a certain biblical concept that we've learned. It doesn't come that way. But it's more of a revelation that happens on a personal level. It could be as a simple reminder that God loves you. And God cares. Right? Ain't that kind of revelation special? Man, when they found the Dead Sea Souls, the, the Dead, Dead Sea Scrolls, that was neat. It was a revelation. There was a lot of things that was learned from that. They took those as part of history. And that's good. But when God begins to reveal himself to us in a special way, in an internal way, inside, God reveals himself. When he begins to reveal his love, he begins to reveal his care and his compassion for you. Or when he begins to reveal direction for your life in, in, in an inner way, it's like, wow, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right? Is that how we do when God begins to reveal Himself in a special way on the inside? We become blessed by that. God can do that. 
When we're standing in the midst of great darkness and God comes by and He begins to reveal Himself to us on the inside, we're like, wow. In the midst of darkness, there is still a light that shines forth. And His name is Jesus. In the midst of that darkness, there's a, a hope that can begin to rise up out of there when it's so dark and you can't see anything. But then the revelation of who Jesus Christ is is down on the inside of you and you begin to see, hey, I, I'm living in a way I shouldn't be. I, I there's sin in my life. There's things going on. I shouldn't be here. And you begin to see Jesus. You begin to see hope. And you begin to see a way out. You begin to see that there is power in the name of Jesus. I know people have talked about you should pray in Jesus' name, but that means more than just saying a prayer and at the end of it in Jesus' name. It means it goes much deeper than that. It's when Jesus is revealed in our hearts. We're like, man, He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And he is the Savior of the world. And He is the mighty one. And He is everything that we have need of. He's a good God. He's a good God. And then there's dialectical presence. Revelation of that. You're like, what in the world does that mean? It's when revelation comes during the proclamation of the gospel. It's when revelation comes to your heart. And I've been there. As an example, I, I was Brother Frank Foster had asked me one time years ago. He said, Brother Andy, won't you come down? We're having camp meeting down at the church. And I think it was on Thursday night. And he said, can you come? I said, I may be able to come that Thursday. I believe it was. And I'd been struggling. I'd been pulled at. I'd been tempted. Satan was wearing me out mentally, physically, emotionally. I was just wore down, beat down. But I said, God, I told him I'd try to be there and I'd go. And I was sitting in the chair and there's an old lady sitting beside me, maybe in her 80s. And I thought, man, well, huh? she's getting up and she's worshiping and she's praising. And she's got it going on. And I said, here I am in my 20s. What's wrong with me? I need to have a little more fire. And I, and I get up just struggling, trying to make it, trying to make it. And I said, God, if you'll send Jody Darden back here to prophesy to me, I think, every, I think I'll be okay. Or, or if you'll send Brother Frank or if you'll send two or three others just to come back here and give me a word of encouragement. But they, they didn't come. I said, God, they're not coming. I don't understand. But all of a sudden, revelation come to me. And he spoke to me. He said, I'll keep you in your storm. There was a revelation that come to me. that when I walked out of there, I knew that I was going to be okay because God said to me, I will keep you in your storm. It wasn't somebody speaking it to me. It wasn't another man, but it was God himself revealing himself to me. And that's when I walked out of there. And I knew that I was going to be okay. I might struggle. I might hurt. I might have trouble. But at the end of the day, God was going to keep me because he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him. There is that kind of revelation. I've said in church and the preachers preached about one thing, but God would reveal something else to me. It may be a situation in our life on how to handle it, what to do. God reveal himself and say, you need to do it this way. Right? God does those things. He does those things. He'll reveal direct things to our own heart. A lot of times that it's on that personal level. He reveals it to us. We fix it and we go on and we get direction from that. Then there's the revelation of new awareness that leads to transformation. Man, do we need that? This is number five. I told you it wouldn't be very long. Think about that. Revelation of a new awareness that leads to transformation. This type of revelation is personal. It becomes aware of something.